What's up guys? Tony over at Six Speed Wraps. We've got today, uh, I believe it's a 2021 or 22 uh, Expedition. This is a pretty special one. It's the Timberline Edition. First one I've seen. So it's here. It's going to get full heat rejection tint, ceramic all the way around. But right now we're going to show you how I tint this windshield. It's going to go in a 70% clear ceramic. So first things first, pick up our wipers on both sides. We're gonna prep the outside glass. Slather it all up, make sure it's nice and neat. And while we wait for this, solution to dry we're gonna go inside take off all these stickers and all that good stuff so that's what we're finna do all right so we're gonna take a step inside of the vehicle um first thing that i like to do aside from taking off the stickers is just take off their personal belongings that way we're not damaging anything so these uh mirrors they're pretty easy they got a little bit of a they have a little screw right here a little torx so just be super careful not to lose this drop it i usually put it in their glove compartment box with my tool i'll take the mirror off just slide in it's got a little clip to it that i don't know how to take off and i think it's going to be a problem but I think I can take it off through there. Uh, so, let me see, I really don't know. Oh, okay, this has got a little clip right there. In case I can't take it off, at least this is out of the way for us. So, put this right in there. These Fords, they usually have a little clip right here so we're just gonna pry our fingers in there and pull down gently but firmly there we go so this one's got two connectors uh little push pins push release put this inside same thing here push release put this inside now we want to be careful with these electronics here um, so we'll most likely mask some of these things off here in a second uh, but for now we can go ahead and start removing their stickers sticker off the glue then we'll start shrinking our film um, and then we'll start cutting it to shape so I'm gonna just remove this residue and I'll be right back all right so we've got all the adhesive removed from the old stickers we're gonna go ahead and get inside grab our 70% ceramic the heat rejection film and then we're gonna go ahead and place it and then we'll shape it and we'll start shrinking so the way that I do it is I like to create an H pattern so I'm gonna wet the same uh, towel that we just, the same dryer sheet that we use to, sh to shrink, right? And I'm just gonna wipe one edge down and then I'm gonna go all the way through the middle. And we'll go do the same thing on the other side real quick. Now I usually just like to put barely enough on the edges just so my film will stick, but on the middle, I like to make sure I put it thoroughly. So go back to the other side. So I just wanna make sure I tack enough. I'm gonna roll this to a safe spot. 
which is usually right here down the middle. Lower this a tad bit. Let that chill on the wiper. Create a hinge right here. That way when I go pull the other side, I'm not worried that it's gonna slip on me or anything like that. Sure we didn't wrinkle nothing right here it's okay still want to make sure one thing that we cover the dot matrix over there so i just let it float a little bit i'm going to come inside and view make sure i don't see that bottom edge once i don't see that bottom edge i know that i'm solid so i'm good we want to make sure that it's not crooked or anything like that that it's nice and flat so once we do that, once again, we're just gonna re-hinge. And I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming a little bit of excess, just so that it's not in my way. Be very careful. Sharp blade, that way you don't scratch the glass. You don't have to put too much pressure. And you just wanna give yourself some room for error, in case you have to shift up or down you're not in a tight spot. All right, so we've got our extension plugged up. We're gonna let our heat gun warm up. We've got the, uh, the base of our, of our shape already. So we're gonna step up. Be very careful with your extension cord. You don't wanna damage or scratch any paint. Treat it as if it was your own vehicle. So the most difficult part on this is usually this top corner areas. The bottom, it's not so difficult. Some windshields are different, but on these Fords in particular, the area from here up and here up is gonna be your most difficult. So I usually just try to start there in case I mess up. Well, I don't have to do all the extra work. So what I'm gonna start doing first is I'm just gonna make sure my wrinkles are all going vertically and I'm gonna pull just a little bit of tension and I'm gonna let my heat gun start doing its job and start shrinking. could have a different process still get the same result as long as you can get it sh shrunk shaped you're solid we'll do that all the way across we'll do the other side and once we do that we'll clean the inside and get ready for the transfer all right guys so we've got the entire windshield shrunk already shaped so what we got to do now is we got to trim I've got my light right here pretty nice we're going to put it on the inside, help us guide, and then I'm just going to take my blade on the glass safely, of course, and we're going to trim it out to about usually an eighth of an inch around the, around the border is all we're going to need. That way when we install it, we don't have too much excess that we're fighting, but it still gives us a little bit of wiggle room in case we need to shift a little bit. So. We did that now we're gonna go inside scrub 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 lay our dash protector that way we don't you know wet any of the electronics or make them short out or anything like that and then once we once we scrub clean uh we'll come out here i'll show you guys the way that i i do so it's like the the back row method i'll show you guys how i install it and how i keep these windshields as free of contamination as possible we live in west texas super super dirty so we just we just got to do our best and um uh, you know try to be as careful as possible all right guys so uh for the cleaning and installation of usually any back glass or windshield i have four tools that i use this is the bulldozer this is going to allow me to squeegee the water into the deep deep places 
I've got my side swiper. This is uh, to help reach into the edges uh, into the hard to reach corners whenever I'm cleaning. This one right here, I think it's called like the big foot or the little foot, something like that. This right here uh, is just gonna help me finish off after I use the bulldozer to just squeegee the rest of the water out. And then here is just a paddle with a little scrubber that's gonna help me scrub before I use any of these other ones uh, to, to get everything nice and clean. And then of course, your dash towel this is gonna help protect all our electronics. We don't want any shorts. So I'll place all my tools. One thing that I like to do is I just like to take off my tool belt. Um, I just feel like it's usually in the way. I don't want to damage any of their seats. Move the seats all the way back. I've already shifted that, uh, that steering wheel as forward as I can and as low as I can. So main things that we want to protect is all your electronics, water from going down, down all the way over there. Um, usually a towel is sufficient enough. So this is like, this is like an absorbent towel. It's usually sufficient enough for me at least. Um, and it, it's not too, too bulky. Once again, I'm not, I'm not gonna, if I take off my shoes, I'm not going to be soaking this windshield so you know as long as you're not trying to shower all your electronics you should be solid man so first things first we're gonna take our water these electronics right here they'll be good we're not gonna wet we're not gonna wet them we're just gonna wet around them and we'll be solid so we're just gonna spray Perfect. I usually like to just start at the bottom and we're just gonna take our scrubber. Scrub, 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 scrub. One more time and scrub one more time the top and then we'll get ready to start uh, squeegeeing and then transferring our film so as soon as we finish this up I'll show you guys how I roll So what we're gonna do now is I, I reloaded my solution. We're gonna show you guys the way that I transfer the film from the outside to the inside because that's very, very important to how you keep uh, the contamination from, from getting in there. So one thing that I did is I kill every single piece of fan. That's why I look like this, it's hot. We don't want any breeze whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, pump this up on this edge that's lifted right here. We're just gonna wet the bottom. Make sure that it sticks. And then we're gonna lift one of the edges with our finger now if it wants to cooperate, come on. And then we're just gonna start wetting it as we're pulling out. So. This method is called the reverse revolt, the reverse roll method. So what I'm doing is I'm not gonna take the liner all the way off quite yet, but I'm taking it and I'm gonna go ahead and wet everything. And I'm gonna lay the liner right back on. I'm just gonna fold, 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 fold. And then I'm gonna take both the liner and the film. And just the way it comes off of the glass, I'm just gonna roll it as tight as I can without creasing it and just keeping it as flat as possible if you start going kind of crooked just fold over it a little bit no worries 
we're gonna go all the way to where we stopped I'm gonna put that in the middle where I can reach it and what I like to do is I just like to clean off all of this right now that way when I'm installing I can see pretty clearly where I still have to squeegee and stuff like that and ever since I started doing that my installations uh, usually come out a little bit cleaner I don't know why that's just what I do come to the other side and we're gonna do the same thing just wet it and peel and as soon as you lift the edge you want to wet it you don't want to allow any well as minimal time between the liner being released and water hitting it and this is basically flushing out any dirt that might hit it so we're gonna come right here careful with your liner don't get it all crumbled up nice neat and then we're gonna continue to roll 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 i've already cleaned the inside glass that's very important you don't want to do this until you've already cleaned the inside glass because what we're going to do as soon as i set this down i'm going to go inside i'm going to spray all of my solution i went ahead and masked off all of the extra electronics that we had left open initially you do want to protect them so once again i'm just going to clean 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 some of that water's dripping out it's okay i'm going to set it there for two seconds we're gonna go inside, pump, pump. Clear our workstation out, make sure that there's nothing in the way. And then we're just gonna... Now remember, we wanna soak everything, but you don't wanna like go too crazy and have water dripping everywhere. So I just like to start at the top, then flush my way down to the bottom. You just want a nice coat. Once you've got that coat, move this you're going to peel the liner back a little bit expose one side usually the one that you're working on and we're going to pick it up very carefully and from here you just want to limit your movements your sharp movements you want to make sure that as you're coming in you're not touching any part of the door panels any part of anything so right here with this screen in the way it can kind of help you a little bit to kind of keep it up right there so that's what i like to do just utilize what you have to your advantage we're going to frankenstein style it and no the film is not touching my shirt the back of the tent is and you just want to be careful Shove this a little bit more this way. And we're just gonna wanna get in. You're gonna wanna start sliding it down and start positioning it as if you were gonna lay it already. You're gonna run your hand across, slide down with it. Perfect. So as it's there, you wanna keep a hand on. Try to be a little creative. Be careful not to smash any of those things. So I sit on it, but at the same time, I'm putting leverage on my legs. And you just want to start pulling this backing paper very slowly. You don't want to go too, too fast. You don't want to create no static. On these, I usually just want to go past this area to where I can lay that. It's nice and neat. Shift it down a little bit if you need to. Start squeegeeing with your hand a little bit. You don't want to squeegee all the water out, but you want to help it help yourself by uh, starting to put it into position. Release the rest of the liner very carefully. You don't want to just swing it out. You want to do it very methodically. And then without touching any of the door panels, any of the uh, pillars, I'm sorry. You just want to slide down a little bit where you need to position and then from here now you get to move so I start right here as my guide point if I can't see I usually like to just keep my light here 
and I'll be able to see where the film is at. If I need to slide up just a tad bit, I'm good here. Slide a little bit to the left. I'm good here, I'm good here. I'm good on that corner, maybe a little bit up. If you position that, you wanna make sure that none of this has moved out of place yet. Everything's solid. Come over here, same things right here. Shift it a little bit up. Once you've got those, you've got the top, you've got the middle. Now, just start squeegeeing with your hand a little bit more. All the way through, all the way to the bottom. And you wanna stretch left and right. That's gonna help you eliminate some of those bubbles that are gonna happen down there. Double check everything one last time. Boom, everything looks solid. Real, real crisp. No light gaps at the bottom. That's what I like to see. After that, we're just gonna take our solution, which I think I left up here. Yep. Oh. And here, I'm gonna twist my knob. I just want a light mist now. And this is just gonna be my lubrication for my squeegee. So, I like to use this red line. Everybody has their own different preferences. Uh, but I just like to use this one right here. So we do one more time down at the bottom. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna step outside, clean that outside glass, and just make sure that there's not any bubbles. All right, so I went outside, cleaned the windshield. I noticed there's two spots with imperfections. I'm gonna show you how I take care of them. Uh, there's multiple ways. So if you look right here, there's a finger. You wanna take care of them pretty quickly. That way they don't absorb too much dirt. So first things first, you just wanna go and just re-squeegee it. <laughs> Most of the times, they'll go away like they did right there. But, an extra for extra precaution, we're gonna take our microfiber towel and we're gonna absorb some of that water. So I roll it up nice and tight and I'm just gonna go from the middle all the way out once again. Usually, those bubbles is just moisture that's trapped, still trapped. And just to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere, I'm just going to heat the outside of the glass a little bit. Or come back up, should I say. And I want to just heat, not in one specific section, because you don't want to run the risk of breaking the glass, cracking the glass. You just want to keep that heat gun moving quite a bit. Usually I just like to feel if the glass starts getting a little bit warm. We're still good. Hit that area, wiggle around, and we're good. I've got one more spot to hit. I'm gonna do the same thing, and then we'll come back, clean everything up, and we'll install the rest of the vehicle. Um, but aside from that, that's how we install a windshield here at Six Speed Wraps. Super, super great. It's your biggest glass. You always wanna protect it, especially if you're already doing ceramic all the way around. You don't wanna let the heat go in there. So aside from that, guys, thank you for watching. Till next time, peace. Ailes va?